Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for my dearest Virgos for Sagittarius season, this new moon in Sagittarius. Um, if these messages do resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Virgos for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance for my dearest Virgos, please, for their highest and greatest good. Okay, so we have the Tree of Life. Look at that. We have Divas. Okay, Capricorn got that same card in the same position. And we have Freedom. Virgos. Okay. So a lot of my Virgos this season, this is all about taking control of your life. This is about being accountable with that energy there of divas. This is about karma releasing. Now freedom is interesting because it does tell me that things may really be speeding up for you. Um, it's an energy of like freeing your spirit and taking control of your life, but it's also there's power and there's speed behind this energy and behind this card. So it's also about, you know, taking your time. And I know my Virgos are not usually impulsive, right? Um, but you've got a lot coming towards you. You're moving forward in the direction that you choose and you're getting closer and closer to not only your goals, but your life life's purpose. And I just love that. And the diva's energy is just you mastering your own energy, taking appropriate action, not, you know, not rushing in or being impulsive, but, you know, doing what you, what you need to do, Virgo. And the tree of life energy is interesting because I feel like it's so Virgo, you know, you're so grounded, you're so rooted. Um, you've been building something. Um, you've created strong foundations that are supporting this movement and this movement forward. And you need to trust and believe that. Trust in yourself and what you've done up until this point. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the reading and see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Virgos. Some of you, you know, this could be, and pardon the pun, branching out into like a new, you know, like, creating an empire, branching out into something new, um, you know, a new job, a new career, new relationships. All right, let's see. Some of you may be moving, but what I love about these black and white horses, we've got yin and yang here. So some of you, there could be a soulmate connection coming together or forming at this time, but let's see. So clear messages and guidance for my Virgos, please. All right, so we've got the two of pentacles. That's your energy. You've already made the decision. You're no longer in the in-between. Yeah, you're taking control. What you're leaving behind, the page of swords. So a lot of my Virgos, you've already done the research. Ooh, and you are ready. Some of you, this is like, this is starting a new business. Um, this is moving towards, you know, some of you might be moving towards somebody that you want to be in a relationship with. Um, or some of you, like I'm, you know, you might be moving, for example, let's say you want to be an actor, an actress, like you're moving to Los Angeles or you're moving to the place where that can be, where that can happen. Some of you, it's starting school, um, but you're absolutely in your power, moving slowly, methodically, but this is that stability that, that you, that you bring with you. All right. What you need to know, the nine of cups energy in reverse. Yeah. You've made a decision. You are letting go walking away Virgo from something that just no longer serves you and it's going to pay off for you. And a, this is a really big coin Virgo, your investments of time, energy, love, money are all going to pay off. We have the Empress energy, Taurus and Libra and energy could be yours, could be somebody else's, but some of my Virgos, you may be leaving a situation where it wasn't growing. It could be a business. It could be a company. Um, some of you, it may be a relationship and, and careful there because that might be a third party situation. 
um, you may or may not know about it, right? But there's something that definitely feels off. And it's like you're stepping into your power here, Virgo. I love this. The two of coins is your energy. No more in, in the in-between. You know, you may have been dealing with somebody here who was keeping you single. Um, and not all of you is it leaving somebody. For example, if it's a relationship or, or a business, if you were feeling stuck or they were keeping you waiting or they were keeping you single, whatever the situation might be, this is also about unblocking that throat chakra and saying, you know what? I'm not, this doesn't work for me. This doesn't work for me. And I like this energy, but I, I do feel a lot of my Virgos, you're moving on from whatever this is. And we get the tower. Yeah, see, there was something that you were holding back. You were avoiding making this decision, maybe because you invested a lot of time and effort into this business, into this company, into this relationship, into this place. Okay, Aries, Scorpio energy and the Four of Swords, but it was keeping you stagnant and you, you're no longer willing to be in an energy of inaction. Okay, you're no longer willing to stay in a state of stasis. I like this Virgo a lot. All right, what you're leaving behind, Page of Swords, you've done your research, you've done your homework, and a lot of you, you've had already the conversation or conversations that you needed to have. There you are. You realize that you have all of the tools that you need, Virgo, to move forward, to make this something real, whether it's a business, whether it's your fortune, building your empire, a relationship, buying a home, whatever it is for you, Virgo, you realize, okay, I have all the tools that I need. I can manifest it, but we can sit in our room or in our houses and manifest all day long, but we have to take action. And that's what you're doing with the two of pentacles. You're making that decision to take action after a period of waiting, strategizing, right? You're no longer waiting for someone to be your hero, Virgo. You're coming in to save the day. You're, you're just not waiting. You're not going to be, you know, like no one puts Virgo in a corner, right? But I feel like my Virgos, I don't feel like you were in a corner, but I do feel like you were, you were stagnant or you were stuck and you're, and, and this is what I love about Virgo energy, because a lot of times people can underestimate Virgos, right? Like Virgos might not talk a whole lot about what's going on, but what you've been doing is like building an arsenal here for, for your success. And I just love that. And you're moving towards it slow and steady. You know, it's like, you know, start today and Virgo's like, well, I actually already started, you know, three weeks ago. <laughs> All right. So we get, yeah, you're moving on. You're finding peace. You're leaving behind heartache, loss, disappointment. And for some of you, it's just something that wasn't, it wasn't worth your time anymore. It wasn't paying you what you deserve. It wasn't giving back. Um, and we get the Empress energy. Wow. Some of my Virgos, it's interesting, Taurus and Libra energy, this double Empress in reverse. Some of you, you're moving on from a third party situation. Some of you, it could even be like a failed business. And I want all of my entrepreneurs out there to raise a glass to what I'm about to say. And those of you who are entrepreneurs and you may be struggling, I'm gonna say two things. So we've got two glass raising sessions here. One, Virgo, is that a lot of entrepreneurs give up right before they're about to be successful. And I see that that's not what you're doing. And two, a lot of entrepreneurs have many failed businesses or ideas or ventures before before it takes, okay? And I know that's not going to be a message for all of you, but some of my Virgos out there need to hear it and you're tenacious and you're persistent and you're kicking butt and you might not feel like it. And you might be like, well, this might be another disappointment, but you know what? I'm still going to keep going. I'm still going to keep trying. And I'm loving that energy. I'm loving that energy because yes, you're attached to the outcome, but it's like you're not wavering here. And I just love that. And again, not all of you is this a business reading. Not all of you is this a love reading. Just take the messages how they resonate. So nine of cups energy, what you need to know. You're walking away from something that was draining you that was emotionally unfulfilling yeah, that's your energy, Virgo. You're setting boundaries. A lot of my Virgos, I'm also getting like you've been, like you've been, you've had a side hustle. Um, maybe you're building your own business like on the side. So you're, you know, you go to your nine to five or you go to your job or maybe you have a couple of jobs, but you rush home to like, you know, to, to, you know, to bury yourself or to, um, 
you know, to give your all rather is a better way of saying it. Give your all to some sort of passion project or building a business or a relationship or whatever it is. Um, and this is really paying off for you. And a lot of people aren't seeing that behind the scenes, Virgo. A lot of people don't know how much, how prepared you really are. And, and for a lot of, a lot of my Virgos, there are people that they're not even going to realize what you've been doing until you're gone or until you're, you know, you're famous or you have your business or you're reaching your goals or simply gone. Okay. And, and some of you, I do feel you might be leaving, like you might be getting what you need to leave like a marriage, like getting that sum of money or that security. All right. And we get the Five of Swords. Yeah, see, this came out in the Capricorn reading as well. If you have Capricorn in your chart, you might want to check that reading out. But the Five of Swords is like, in a reading like this, I don't see it as so much conflict and, you know, people being awful to you. Yeah, I think you're probably going to have some haters. And you may have people that are naysayers. Some of them, yeah, because they're just throwing you shade. But for others of you, it's people who care about you who are going to say, are you really going to do that again? Like, you know, the last time, you know, you started your own business, it didn't work out. It did, you know, it failed, whatever. Ignore the naysayers, okay? But what I want to say with this Venus and Aquarius energy, the five of swords, is Virgo, it's time to do it for you and to keep doing it until you get it, until you're satisfied, um, because I do see success here. I do see that you're, what you've been building is going to pay off. And that's your tenacity. That's your persistence and spirits giving you this big giant coin, but it's not like it's just been given to you. It hasn't just been handed to you, Virgo. I'm seeing that you've worked for this. Yeah. And it's going to bring you stability. Okay. It's going to bring you some of you, this four of coins energy for me is like a new house, a new home, um, stability from your own business, freeing yourself from working for someone else. If that's a dream of yours, um, it may be a stable relationship after one that wasn't so stable. And we've got Libra energy. See, this is karmic justice. All right. Now there's some big decisions to make, but this is about you living a balanced life. Okay, some of my Virgos, you may be calling in a Libra. Some of you could be Virgo Libra cusps. But look at this. We get double confirmation of yin yang. Double confirmation of yin yang. So some of you, this is about really calling in a divine counterpart, but not being afraid to take a leap of faith into the unknown, into a new direction, and away from a situation that wasn't good enough. And we get the seven of swords. Yeah. See, my Virgos, you're seeing clearly what works for you and what doesn't work for you, what builds you up and what keeps you stagnant. And you are moving on. You are prioritizing peace here, Virgo, and you're taking control. And I love this because I don't, I didn't feel like I needed to tell my Virgos here to like not rush into things, but be patient with yourself. It might not happen overnight, but I don't, I don't feel like I even have to tell you that. I feel like you're good. Like you get that. Mm, I just love this. I just love this. There's something really powerful coming your way. And I feel you've been, you've been on pause or you've been feeling that way, but people haven't seen the work that you've been putting into moving forward here. So let's take a look at some of the challenges my Virgos may face empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. So I, I, you know, maybe Virgo, some of you need to see, see other people's points of view, but more than anything, what I'm getting is that this is more of a message of some, some of your people that are around you, and it's not going to be for all of you, but some of the people around you really do love and care for you. They just don't want to see you get hurt. And so they may say things that are detrimental to your path forward or to your project or to your ideas. And that's a very delicate situation. So I feel like Spirit's saying to be like empathetic in that situation and situations like that, but don't let it affect you. And if you have loved ones that, you know, have a tendency to rain on your parade, burst your bubble, whatever, you know, be the wet blanket when you have a new idea, keep it close to your chest. Okay, until you're ready. And for a lot of you, that's what I'm kind of seeing. There's something here that you've been working on, you know, late nights, early mornings, weekends, whatever it is. And other people just weren't really paying attention or don't really know how much you've been giving your all or putting into this. And 
they're not going to realize until boom, you're really successful or you're out the door, right? So let's see what your other challenges are. We have trust. Yeah. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. You are being guided to a balanced, healthy life, business, love, partnership. I mean, this is this is the life that you want, all right? That justice card, it's your truth, it's stability, it's success. The blessings coming to you. We have worry. I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So a lot of my Virgos, and I'm a Virgo rising. I also have a strong cancer placement, right? My cancer son makes me a real worrier. <laughs> worry is like my thing, right? And um, But not a lot of people will know that. And that's that Virgo energy. A lot of people don't know how much you worry also. But you're learning that it doesn't change an outcome. What changes an outcome are, is action. And you're believing in yourself. And you're changing that. Okay? And loneliness. I know that I'm never alone. So some of my Virgos, there's this loneliness that's coming to an end. But I do feel that your journey forward may feel a little bit lonely. But it won't be for long. Okay? So the overall energy, we have gratitude. I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. And you've got a big, excuse my language, you've got a big ass opportunity coming to you, Virgos. I mean, this is what it is. I don't know if it's a job. I don't know if it's a new partner, relationship, a trip, a chunk of money. But you you deserve this. You deserve this. Okay? And for a second, don't believe. Don't believe for a second that you don't. Oh my goodness, my English. All right, Virgos, let's see what my Virgos need to focus on or what would be beneficial for my Virgos to hear or to focus on during Sagittarius season. Okay, so we've got lessons, yeah. Part of your path, so part of your life path is to experience things that seem unfair or difficult, but that are meant to evolve your soul. Yeah, so learning some tough lessons. And old age. Wow. I'm seeing some of my Virgos, this tree of life, this divas, this freedom card, this justice card. Some of you, you are making some tough decisions to move on and you're calling in someone you're going to grow old with. But live life to the fullest, Virgo. You have many years to enjoy and will have many opportunities to share with others. And there's this earth energy, tree of life, Gaia. Whether environmental advocacy, preservation efforts, or your love of nature, you're a faithful steward of Mother Earth. And you're being supported and you're grounded. Oh, what a beautiful energy here, Virgo. All right, let's keep going. Let's see what, what final messages we have for Virgos, please. What energies would like to assist my Virgos during Sagittarius season? And what messages do they have for my dear Virgos? Okay, beautiful. We've got Serapis Bay, Ascension. So move into your true self. And did we not see that here? You moving into your truth. Sagittarius rules truth. And sometimes Sagittarius energy can be really blunt about the truth. And I feel like, I feel like my Virgos, you're getting that. Um, but I also feel too, like justice is about truth. And so it's like you're moving into, onto a path that's in alignment with you and your authentic self. And rise above darkness, the light is here. There is such a beautiful energy in this reading, Virgo. The lessons that you've learned are going are are they're 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 going to be bringing you. They're let me how do I say this? <laughs> the lessons that you have learned have like catapulted you onto this new timeline, into a new vibration where you're calling in new opportunities, relationships, you name it. And there is a light at the end of the tunnel. There is a silver lining here. And I just, you know, I couldn't be happier for you. So my Virgos, I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages do resonate, I'm going to ask that you hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, Virgos. Take care.